uh, we've identified four changes that are affecting this industry. The, the first one is uh, focusing on benchmarking. So how you identify skill um, with uh, an investment manager is, is rapidly changing. For example, um, currently people are trying to outperform inflation because inflation is an important milestone for the end investor. But what the industry is finding now is that uh, inflation is what we call a return target. It's a necessary kind of hurdle rate that we need to, uh, to become more wealthy over time. But the problem is that you can also get a return above inflation without necessarily having any skill. So the equity market is well known to outperform inflation. The bond market has probably delivered about 13% per annum over the last 20 years and inflation has delivered about 8%. So you're getting naturally excess returns from asset classes without having to have skill. So you can build portfolios um, that don't require huge amounts of skill that will make people wealthy in the, in the long run. So if you buy the stock market and the bond market over 20 years, you will become more wealthy. So the definition of skill is changing and that is um, affecting how we build portfolios and how we remunerate uh, fund managers and how investment banks and, and asset managers produce new types of product. Um, the second force that is changing the industry is that there's a, a dramatic move away from what we call active return management. In other words, we're always trying to outperform to active risk management where we're trying to avoid loss. Um, and in order to avoid loss, you have to do things differently. You have to um, identify what the risks are. You've got to make them tradable. You've got to make them hedgeable. And the only way to do that is to use uh, probably the fastest growing area in investment management, which is indexation. So you have things like ETFs, exchange traded funds, and uh, other kind of index linked products that can get in and out of a, a risk or asset class. Um, and that ability to adapt to changing market conditions is something that you cannot do with traditional active management. In the past and today still most money is managed on a stock picking basis. So fund managers would choose one share over another to include or exclude in their portfolio. The problem is it takes you months to build up those positions and it takes you a long time to get out of those positions. So if the market moves against you, you cannot really adapt to that change effectively. So index products allow one to uh, become much more modular in the way that we build portfolios. So think about it, think about it like Lego blocks. So you can tack on a Lego block called value or growth and you can take it off equally quickly from your portfolio if you are using uh, index linked uh, solutions. So we're certainly not saying that active management is going to be replaced by passive management, but we are saying that the focus is moving away from traditional bottom-up stock picking to much more of a top-down, risk-focused uh, way of, of managing uh, people's wealth. And then obviously the, the, the net consequence of all of this is that people are going to be focusing on how to change the remuneration um, of uh, what skill is. So once benchmarking changes, once we identify that we can actually buy a value index now, whereas 10 years ago you had to find a value manager. Um, and, and if you can much more cost effectively get value exposure with an index product, you will start seeing people switching between these two sources of, of um, returns. So fund managers currently are paid a percentage of the assets that they manage. If the market goes up, they basically get paid more even though they've got no control over the market. So that's going to change where people are going to say, we're only going to pay you for the skill or the value that you are really adding, not just uh, the general market's performance.